Okay, so we just got to the walking trail. Anyways, yeah, okay, let's do it. This is the uh, the trail, I think. Anyways, I'm just like filled with like a lot of hurt right now. So I just like, I know I just need to be outside and like enjoy what's in our backyard. This is literally like, it's so crazy to me that this is literally just a drive away and we get access to all of this nature. I'm trying to be positive. <laughs> um, mad. Trying to be positive through this heartbreak. Um, it's really hard for me, so you know, I just want to be open and vulnerable about, about some stuff on here, I guess, as this is like my, I'd like to think of it as like my personal diary. Over the last couple days have been so hard. And you know, I only know it's gonna get easier, like I've been through this before. I have some exciting things coming up this week and you know looking forward to that um what else what else I have a really exciting shoot on Saturday and Sunday going out with some friends on Saturday that's gonna be fun you know I'm just like trying to force myself to do these things because it's so hard to like not to like want to do these things for yourself. So this is just I haven't been to this hiking trail in like over like a year I think. I think I'm going the wrong way. Oh right there. <laughs> had a feeling oh my god <laughs> hopefully I don't break out in hives and scrape my other knee you know I haven't had to go through this in a long time and the last time I went through a really bad breakup was about a year and a half almost like two in January it was like a year and um, during that time I you know had turned to turned to unhealthy habits and was drinking all the time and out partying all the time and trying to navigate a healthier lifestyle and it's so hard to want to do this type of stuff for yourself I think because all you want to do is sit in bed and mope and think about think about that person and you know I'm literally just like forcing myself to to get out there in terms of like you know going on hikes and going on long walks and being with friends and I'm excited to kind of like look back at this like maybe even just a month from now and see what a difference, what a difference has changed. I know these things will happen, and like, things will get better. It's just like so hard. Like yesterday was like probably one of the hardest days. Anyway, personal diary entry. <laughs> I, I have to like stop talking about it. I feel like I'm talking about it way too much, but I feel like I literally have two left feet. I feel my legs feel so weak. Oh my god. Okay, embarrassing to admit. But yesterday I'm at like 132 and I was in bed and I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Like I'm just gonna do the deed, right? 
um, I did. And while I was like, <laughs> while I was um, doing the deed, I like touched myself and I feel a string. And, and just so you know, like I got off my period like maybe a couple days ago. So I wasn't using a tampon. Or I thought I wasn't. I pull this string. And it's freaking tampon. That's been in my. That's been in me. For like. More than 72 hours. <laughs> and I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. Because I literally. Thought I like. Didn't have one in me. So. That was fun. Um to find <laughs> I guess luckily I found it because I honestly like I checked I double checked I thought I'd there wasn't anything in there but I guess there was wow this is so pretty but I'm gonna pay some respect to the water with some tobacco. That was refreshing. This is so cool. Hi. Hi. Hello. I'll get your guys' oh, way. Yeah, oh, don't no, worry. you're fine. Talking water and going. <laughs>
rock that's right there. Get super close to the water and feel like, so, oh my god, there's a spider web. beautiful. 